Hey, I'm here to show you uh, my new add-on that I've made for Blender. Uh, it's called Point Cloud to Mesh. And it's basically meant to take the functionality of the 3D markers to mesh that's already built into Blender and make it actually usable. So uh, you might see here that I have a tracked scene, fully tracked here. This is uh, pretty easy to track, so <laughs> it's not the most complicated thing in the world. So obviously what we'd like to do is perhaps to recreate this this cliff face. Uh, so we come over here to the you know the solve tab and go to the geometry and say, oh look, 3D markers to mesh. Let's just select all of our markers here. Good heavens, that's a little bit too much. All right, and now we say, let's do 3D markers to mesh. That sounds like what we want. So we do that, and all we have are these stupid useless disconnected points so what are we gonna do with that exactly well I guess we gotta go through by hand and join all those together like idiots no we're not gonna do that we're not gonna do that so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use my new add-on uh, it's got a couple it's down here at the very bottom of the of the solve tab uh, it's got a couple different options for different meshing algorithms uh, a couple different projections depending on your scene uh, and uh, the markers that you have selected here. Uh, you can change those and uh, see if they'll help you. Um, this is a mostly vertical surface, so uh, this option here is going to be the one that I would like to use for that. Uh, I'll just show you all of them at the, uh, and just show you what they do. So uh, we're just going to click this button here. It says point cloud to mesh and Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Now you'll see that I do still have, I have retained the uh, little vertices here that uh, that uh, Blender would give you normally, just in case there's something you want to do with them. Um, but you don't have to use them. But you have this nice, lovely, fully meshed geometry now, which is much better than what Blender gives you. Obviously, it's not great. It's just proxy geometry, but you could do some projections onto it or, you know, approximate your, your other object placement based on it, whatever you like. Um, so, yeah, that just uh, really speeds up that process. Um, it might also work better if you're doing sort of a... Uh, uh, detect features method on uh, on your shot that way you get a whole bunch of these track markers without much effort uh, so let's come back down here and let's test out a couple things here let's just show you the other options here so we got XY plane projection uh, and what that does is it comes out with this result which doesn't work particularly well for this use case uh, it's just a different method of meshing. We'll delete all those. Come over here and go to the next one. Point cloud to mesh. It's very similar to the last one, uh, so it's really just a matter of preference um, on, on that one. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So the one important thing to know about this uh, is that when you go and install it in your user preferences, you'll see point cloud to mesh. Uh, down here, there's this button. Uh, you need to install SciPy, which is a certain Python uh, uh, feature thing that you're going to need to click this button for, and it installs it into your uh, your uh, Blender version folder. So uh, if you haven't done that for whatever version of Blender you're using, you're going to need to do that. Uh, so once you do that, it'll work perfectly. Otherwise, it will not work, and it'll tell you that it hasn't been installed. So that's what you're going to need to do. Uh, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys get some use out of it. I'll leave a link to the to my Gumroad in the description for you.